Welcome back, Zero K fans, to, or rather, hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Natalie is the Dawn. I'm your host, Chad Fury 333 and I'm going to be starting off today's exhibition match stream with a match between Hokomoko and Snuggle Base on Valus Mananatus. And starting at Hokomoko, going straight up for the gunship plant, while, sorry, Snuggle Base going for the gunship plant, Hokomoko going for the Cloaky Bot Factory, and, wait, what the... Why are the colors... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Something got screwed up. I... I modified the colors. Hokomoko is teal. Snuggle Base is red. So, yeah. Snuggle Base is going for the Cloaky Bot Factory. Hokomoko going for the Gunship Plant. And I shouldn't have touched the team colors when I was loading the replay. Good to know they do not update properly for all of the names and everything. I did not realize that. Anyway. Small bugs aside. Hokomoko going in for a very rapid drop here. Coming in with their commander. Commander drops have not been... When's the last time we saw a commander drop? I mean, it's probably going to work too, or at the very least the Vindicator is going to do its job, but wow. I think the last time a commander drop came up was sometime in 2014. At any rate, Hokumoko already upgrading their commander. This is a bit of a... This is really risky, though. The commander is pretty much already going to die. I mean, the Glaze are ripping it to shreds. Snuggle Base's own commander about to go down. No, never mind. I'm saying Hokumoko's commander goes down. Snuggle Base's commander actually is under quite a bit of threat, though. It could very well go down. This is a massive gambit, and essentially all comes down to this Vindicator. Snuggle Base's commander doesn't have much of a chance, though. It is trying to terraform itself away, but that's not going to work. Or never mind. It actually does barely work. The Vindicator, as soon as it gets in range, though, there it is. There's the kill. Snuggle Base's commander goes down, and I think that's pretty much going to be game. Kind of spent more time talking about the weird team color issue when it comes to switching team colors in the middle of a game than I am about anything else, because this game's basically over. Snuggle Base has very weak economy. Hokomoko, however, has no economy. There's nothing they can do. They have no energy so and no storage. So they're done. Like, this Vindicator's it. And Snuggle Base going over to Hokomoko's base and should be able to tear apart Hokomoko's factory pretty quickly, but Hokomoko getting rid of Snuggle Base's economy as well I mean, there is the one metal extractor, but like I said, there's no energy structures, so there's not much. Snuggle Base does have a very, very small, non-zero chance of getting out of this. Hokomoko doesn't, especially now that they're leaving the Vindicator. That, that needs to stay there. They're, it cannot leave. If it leaves, it's over. Hokomoko's only hope right now is to kill the factory before the Gremlin's built, and that happens. Factory's done. If, it, if the solar plants are killed before the Glaive can find and kill... Snohokomoko's factory, then it's over. Why is this? I think the Vindicator's trying to go back home to try to protect things. But I mean, Snuggle Base has no metal and no storage. They do have the one Conjurer, which actually does spot the Vindicator coming in. I'm not sure why is looking for that, though. If they kill off these two solar plants, and I think they've realized that now, then that will be game. Because the game is determined, if I recall, recall correctly, it never comes down to this, but if I recall correctly, the game is determined by whether or not the opponent still has any structure standing. And I realize solar plants are really difficult to kill, so it kind of makes sense that Hokomoko wouldn't want to kill them immediately. But still, that's a thing. And Hokomoko's pretty much only survived because they started in a really unconventional spot. So they weren't actually spotted. Like, their factory was given a bit of a chance as a result. But anyway, one solar collector will go down, and that's right as Snuggle Base is finding Hokomoko's factories. And that's one down. At the very least, there's no economy for Snuggle Base to work from. And the last solar collector is going to go down, but no glaive spotting yet. It has not spotted the factory yet. It's just about to, and the factory's trying to build a wasp. Won't be able to. There's nowhere near enough energy for it. But, oh, no, it's not game. Wait, is it seriously kill all units and all buildings that forces the death? Oh, shoot. This is, this is going to be kind of painful. I mean, if the Glaive dies, then there's not much to say. I mean, Snuggle Base is the only one with military units. Hokomoko might as well... Sorry, Hokomoko's the only one with units. Snuggle Base might as well throw in the towel. But even then, this is kind of the case. The Vindicator's going to come in here. It's going to kill the Glaive before the factory goes down. And while the Wasp is not going to get completed anytime soon... That's pretty much game, I think. If... Okay, well, if the Vindicator gets lucky and happens to find the Conjurer, and it is going to get lucky, it is going to find the Conjurer. At least it should. 
Oh, that's weird. I can't see the the player's view. Whatever. Anyway, if it is found, if the conjurer is found, then yeah, the game's over. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Like, I don't know why Hokomoko isn't surrendering at this point. But at this point, it doesn't matter. There it is. Sorry, Snugglebice isn't surrendering. Hokomoko finds finds the conjurer. Should be able to get rid of it. And that'll end the game. And now we know that the actual win condition is kill all units and buildings. I thought it was just kill all units. Maybe it's kill all units and constructors. At any rate... What? Okay, whatever. Didn't realize that was going to happen. I mean... That... I've never seen unit value slope downwards. Wow. Alright then. That's, that is how a game grinds to a close. Next match should be hopefully less grindy. It will be between Felthos and Lamadeus on Lonely Oasis. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.